<laughs> All right. So we're back with another deep dive. And uh, this time we're looking at this uh, this article about a potential hey, Days of Thunder sequel. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Tom Cruise's next high speed gamble. Days of Thunder sequel is in gear. Days of Thunder sequel in gear. That's the title. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's Tom Cruise. It's racing. Yay! It's a sequel. This has got to be huge, right? You would think so. I mean, the original Days of Thunder wasn't exactly a blockbuster. Right, I mean. It wasn't a flop either, yeah, but. It wasn't yeah. a flop, but it wasn't. I don't think it really set the world on fire. Yeah, yeah. But it has gained kind of a cult status over the years. And I think part of that is because it really captures, I think, a certain time in yeah. NASCAR. And there was something about that era that was so, I don't know, appealing. Those drivers yeah. had this swagger. The cars were raw and dangerous. It was really exciting. And we know that Cruz loves to tap into nostalgia, like he did with Top Gun, yeah. Maverick. And that was a, a massive success. Uh, uh, um, but also, it seems like racing movies, mm. in general, are having a little bit of a renaissance right now. Yeah, I mean, look at Ford v. Ferrari. That was a critical and commercial success. Yeah, and we've got this Brad Pitt Formula One movie Yeah, coming out. Everyone's talking about that. Yeah, and it seems like there's this renewed interest in seeing these stories on the big screen. So Days of Thunder 2 could really capitalize on that. Absolutely. And you know, the article talked about how NASCAR and Formula One, even though they're both racing, mm. are very different. Very different. In terms of their audience. Yeah, NASCAR is very American, you yeah, know? Yeah. It's got that kind of blue collar grit. Yeah, it's more about those close quarters battles, mm. the rivalries, yeah. you know, that kind of down and dirty racing. Whereas Formula One is more of a global sport, it's got that European glamour. The technology is very sophisticated. Yeah. It's a different kind of spectacle. So a Days of Thunder sequel could really offer something different from that F1 movie. Yeah, for sure. By tapping into that very specific NASCAR vibe. Right. Now, the article also mentioned Cruz's schedule. I mean, the guy's busy. Yeah, he's got Mission Impossible 8. He's got that film with Alejandro G. and Yara, too there's talk of a space movie yeah he's like launching himself into space for real yeah, at this point right so where does days of thunder 2 even fit in that's the big question isn't it yeah he's gonna need to find the right script the right director yeah and, and it's probably safe to say that joseph kaczynski yeah who did top gun maverick mm -hmm. and is doing the f1 movie is probably not going to want to do another yeah i doubt he's going to want to jump right back into cars racing movie <laughs> yeah yeah. So who would even direct this thing? I mean, it's got to be someone yeah. who understands that NASCAR world. Yeah. Somebody who can get those crazy action sequences. Yeah. But also tell a compelling story. Yeah. You need that balance yeah. of intensity and heart. That's what made the original Days of Thunder work. Exactly. The article did mention yeah. Jerry Bruckheimer, who produced the original, mm. is probably going to be involved in the sequel as well. Which I think is a good sign. Yeah. I mean, he knows what made the first one tick. Yeah. Yeah. He brings that experience, yeah. that continuity. So putting it all together, do you think Days of Thunder 2 mm -hmm. is actually going to happen? I think it's definitely a possibility. You've got the nostalgia factor. Racing movies are hot right now. Yeah. And Tom Cruise, well, he's Tom Cruise. He gets things done. Yeah. So I guess we just have to wait and see. Exactly. But in the meantime, I think it's fun to speculate what this movie could be. Oh, for sure. What elements from the original would you like to see come back? What new twists would you want to see? Let us know what you think. That's it for this deep dive. We'll see you next time.